Hello, I am going to be reading a letter that I wrote and it is called Letter from Jacqueline to White Supremacists. Listen, white folk, those of you who hate us, why? Is it because we show you images of your oppressive behaviors, thoughts, and ideas embedded in our DNA? Do our racially oppressive induced displays of niggerism created by you, our overpopulated family of children in a single parent household by a young mother doing sexual favors with which you cause her to feel so comfortable to feed them, sagging pants hopelessly hanging off the behinds of thugs at corner stores, speaking an ever-changing language that neither you nor I could ever keep up with or understand, and various other negative images that you branded, raped, beat, and plundered into our psyche for generations. To you, we were savages from the moment you laid eyes on us. You studied our strength and resilience and feared us. You still do. You try to understand us, but you never will as long as you keep looking at us through your lenses. You see, we are not you. Our origin is not your origin. We have a homeland, a sense of belonging, at which we are connected at the root. But you stripped that sense away from some of us. You were able to carry out this mission because of your heart condition. It never was about black or white. It still isn't. But we don't hate you. Well, most of us don't. Those that do, just do. You know, like many of you. We have forgiven you. Well, most of us have. The ones of us that accept our God's forgiveness for our shortcomings. We forgive you, at least for slavery but not so much for its brutalities, for the things that you continue to do today, and for the things we still have to say, to try to make you understand how we feel about your oppression, as if you cared. Let's turn the tables on you. What if your children grandchildren, and great-grandchildren were of mixed races and as a result were considered black. And what if being black were the norm and it became normal to oppress blacks and it became your lineage that was being oppressed and looked down upon? Is that really how we want our future to play out? with a few white folk on top, suppressing your family? What if they began checking DNAs and discussing the number of drops or percentages one needed to have to be considered non-black? How much more fear would you have? Sir, madam, what is going on inside you to make you feel that you need to be superior over anyone? What was missing in your childhood to give you this need to rule over others? What fears are you hiding behind? Why do you need to hide behind a group to carry out your hateful behavior? Do you feel powerless and even unloved when by yourself? If you love yourself 
and you don't have to worry about how much anyone else gets or who gets more than you. Did you know that you were created by God to fulfill a specific plan that he has for you? He really does. And that plan is not to cause anyone any hurt or harm. If you focus on the plan that the good Lord has for your life, you won't need to be so wrapped up in the lives of others, but will see that your journey is your own and your journey is enough. You don't have to look outside of yourself. You have all you have. Many of us black folk are too busy caring for and about ourselves and our families to be concerned about the white man. Some of us just want to move on with whatever lemons God gave us and make lemonade without being concerned about who hates us, either because of the color of our skin, because some of us act like the results of your oppression in words, because some of us are healed by wounds inflicted on us and have actually come to love ourselves, or for whatever reason. Having a love for ourselves does not mean that we hate you, or that we even think less of you, or that we are even thinking about you at all. It just means that we are focusing on ourselves and we cordially invite you to love yourself so you can release us and do the same. Thank you and God bless you.